Everybody has their doubts, but you can't stop now. You just, you just gotta. It's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing another inside the dressing room and this video was actually requested by one of you guys. You guys have been asking me to do workwear for an apple shape and I have been meaning to get to this video for months and I finally just came around to it. One of you actually requested to do a loft inside the dressing room so that is what I'm doing today. Now a little background, I've never been to loft before so I don't know how their sizing runs or anything like that. I also don't know much about their, you know, company or anything like that as well. So this is like a whole like new journey for me to try on some stuff. I also recently found out that the loft does offer plus size, so that is amazing. It is an all-inclusive brand, which I love. I really love the size inclusivity of the loft, so I think this is awesome because they carry straight and plus sizes. So Today when I went in there, I was looking around and I wasn't really sure. I really had to get a feel of the sizing there. So what I would say is that they kind of run very true to size. So if you are truly a size 10, you will fit a 10. If you are truly a size 12, you will fit a 12. If you truly are a size 14, 16, 18, et cetera, et cetera, you get the idea. So for me, I kind of have the issue because I am one of those in-betweeners. I am right at the cusp of not fitting into straight sizes anymore and then I also am at the cusp of fitting in plus size but sometimes it doesn't fit. So I'm right in that limbo stage right now. So I can grab stuff from the straight section and I can grab stuff from the plus section. So if that helps. That being said, I kind of can tell fabrics and I'm like that will fit me in an extra large, that will fit me in not an extra large, you know, kind of like that. So I did try on some pieces that were extra large and they fit perfect. And then again, I also tried on stuff that was a size 16 and it fit perfect. So it's just kind of like playing around with my sizing. So hopefully this helps you guys in figuring out what kind of size you are at the loft. I would definitely say they run true to size. If not, they actually are kind of run on the larger side. So with that being said, I try to put together some outfits in this video for work attire. Um, I don't have to dress up for work, so this was kind of a challenge for me because I'm not really used to finding work items. I'm used to just kind of more on the casual side. So this was kind of fun for me to try some new things. So with all, like always with my inside the dressing rooms, I always try to link the items that I try on down below in the description box. So if you like anything, I will have it linked down below. So their plus size section does run from size 16 to I think 26, so that is a great size range. Their plus size section does not start at 14. So if you are 12, 14, you're shopping in the straight sizes. So let's get started. This first outfit that we have here is a skirt and like shirt set, which I love skirts. I think they're super cute and I think it is a great way to kind of spice it up in the work setting. So. This is just a nice blouse. I love that it has the little frill detailing here on the shoulders. It has the button down, but it doesn't button all the way down. It's just kind of like a mid button up, which I love. I think that this is a great piece that you can incorporate into casual wear as well, which I feel like if I had to buy work attire, I would buy things that were also going to be able to incorporate into a casual outfit. So I went ahead and tucked this shirt in because I think it looks best tucked in. And I paired it with this tweed skirt. It was black, pink, and white. And I'm obsessed with tweed. And when I went into the loft, they had so many tweed outfits. I was like, oh my god, I am in tweed heaven. I love that. And I have yet to find something that looks really good on me. Um, so this was in a size 16, the skirt. And it fit really, really well. I think it needed to be in a 14, but they didn't have any because this was only in the plus section. I couldn't find it in the straight section. Um, so this was in a size 16. It fit really good around the waist. The length was perfect, perfect for work. For me, I was struggling. I'm like, this is too long. I can't wear this. My mom's like, well, it's work attire. It shouldn't be short. And I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> I have to remind myself that this is for work, not for going out to the club, okay? But um, not that I go to the club, but you get the idea. I really, really like that the quality of the loft items are so, so nice, and this is definitely a place I would go to if I had to buy um, work attire. For the apple shape friendly, this skirt was pretty apple shape friendly for me. I think if I went to a 14, it would fit just fine. The 16 fit good. I still had some room, so that's why I was a little bit baggy, but it wasn't tight at all. Very, very cute. Um, there was no stretch in both fabrics, so keep that in mind. 
This next item that you guys see here is another skirt that I end up pairing with the same shirt. It is again kind of like a tweed circle skirt, but it was just a longer circle skirt. And I was having that issue where I'm like, this is too long, I don't like it. But I had to like literally be reminded every time my mom's like, it's for work, you shouldn't be having short skirts. I'm like, duh. So this fit right above the knee. It came right above the knee, so it was at a perfect, perfect length to pair with pumps. Cute to pair tights under in the winter time. And it was just this black and gray color, which is again a new color for work attire I think it is perfect especially because you can pair so many different items with this skirt alone I loved it and again it was a circle skirt so circle skirts are usually friendly to apple shaped babes um, personally me on myself I don't like circle skirts on my body but that's just me but this was a comfortable stretchy waistband and I tried this on actually in a size extra large so this was in the straight size section next here we have a very bright and floral dress now this floral dress I saw it and I was like wow the extra large looks actually really really big so I was had a lot of high hopes for this dress and the sizing like I said does run a little bit big so if you're on the cusp of a 14 16 I definitely think you should check out the straight section first and then move over to the plus because you might be able to fit into some of the pieces that are in the straight sizes so this dress was a nice floral blue and yellow dress this is perfect for spring perfect for Easter I love this look um, it had the cinching at the waist so you can kind of tie it up a little bit but the cinching was perfect and made the top part of the shirt below perfectly I didn't feel like I was suffocated it didn't feel tight at all it had that kind of frilly detailing along the cusp of the wrist which I love I thought it gave something extra to the dress again it fits right above the knee so this is so appropriate for work attire this would even be a nice like outfit for church for Easter Sunday really really cute and I love their stuff I'm just so impressed I thought this was such a great great quality dress and it's really cute definitely out of my comfort zone patterns aren't usually my thing I do like floral but something like this floral is a little bit too much for me but I still really like this dress and it was really really comfortable and I just think it was a nice piece to add to your wardrobe for work this next item that we have here is another dress and this is a wrap style dress now this was in the plus size section and I tried this on in a size 16 because that's where their plus size section starts so this was in a size 16 it had stripes going down it was a wrap style at first I wasn't sure how to wrap the dress and then I was like mom I need you to help me in the dressing room because I don't know how to wrap this dress it was a little bit confusing at first but then I figured it out so it was this wrap dress, no stretch in this material. Again, as same as the last floral dress, there's no stretch in that either. This was just a wrap dress. It had the stripes going down, cinched at the waist. Not much I can say about this. It was just your typical basic wrap style dress. Um, nothing I can... This is a really, really cute dress. I really like this, um, but... It just, I don't know, something about the way the pattern was laying on my body, I just was like, eh, I don't think I really like that that much. Okay, so the next item that I have here is I tried to look for the dress pants and a lot of the dress pants that they had available were not in my size, so it was a bummer because again, like I said, I was figuring out my size there. I didn't know if I was a size 14 or if I was a size 16. I would say with my recommendations with dress pants and my experience, I would say always usually size up on dress pants unless they're like really stretchy and have no like clasp or just like an elastic waistband, then I would say like stay in your normal size, like I would usually try to get a 14 if it was an elastic band. So I wasn't really sure. So these were their basic black dress pants and I got these in a size 16. Again, these were in the plus size section and I loved it. It was so, so cute and so comfortable. Really stretchy. They just hugged my curves at all the right spots. I think if you're an apple shape babe, these are going to be the best bet for dress pants. Now they are a little bit pricey. I think they retailed for about $69.50 if I'm not mistaken. Um, so they're around $70. They are very pricey, but I think if you're going to invest in work attire, then you need to invest some money into your pants because they're going to be something that you're going to be wearing a lot. And I was contemplating actually getting these, but I don't need any dress pants at the moment. So it would kind of been really stupid of me if I were to buy those pants because 
I really don't need them. However, these were my absolute favorite, favorite pair of dress pants I tried on. They were the only ones I tried on. I loved it because the waistband was a little bit thicker. It wasn't your typical thin waistband on a dress pant. They were like a bit thicker. So maybe about a two to three inch seam there. I loved it. I thought it was super cute. And these were the ankle length, which fit perfect on me. You guys know I'm only 5'2", so these were at a good length as well. The next outfit that we have here is a basic kind of wrap peplum style top. And I loved this top. This was in the plus size section. It was a size 16. It was a wrap style dress. I love the deep plunging V of this. I think I wouldn't wear this for work. Um, you could put a cami underneath it and it would be perfect for work. But I would like to wear this like going out. It looks so cute with a pair of cheetah print heels. I think it would be so pretty. Um, I loved this. It had no stretch in it again, but it fit really perfectly in a size 16. I am buster, you guys know. So I do have kind of usually wear sizes that are a little bit bigger. As for the jeans, I am just trying on a pair of their skinny jeans and these were jeggings and they were in a size 14 and they fit perfect. They were really, really stretchy. Um, so of course a jegging is always stretchy. So always trick to your, stick to your true size or size down because as you wear them, they will kind of expand and move with your body. These jeans were very, very comfortable. I love them and um, I think those again were like a little bit pricey. They're around $70 as well. I also tried on this kind of sweater that had the little detail on the back where it kind of opened up in a V and it had like that white sheer print on it. It was kind of your oversized sweater in a way. It was almost like a tweed texture as well. It was a light pink and white cream color. I loved this sweater on the hanger. On, not so much. It wasn't fitting as comfortable as the other extra large stuff that I tried on. So I think that if this was available in like a size in the plus section, it would probably fit. If it was like an extra, extra large, it would have fit better and a little bit more flowy but it still was really cute and it caught my eye right when I walked in so I just had to try it on. That completes everything in my loft inside the dressing room. I know this is really really short but my loft that is near me that carries plus size um, which there isn't many around me. I think there's only two and the other one was far away so I was like this is the only option that I have. If you guys were curious as to what loft I was at, I was at the loft that is in Schaumburg, Illinois and it is in the streets of Woodfield Shopping Center so if you're from Chicago that's where I went um, and their plus size section is small they have kind of, it's it's basically kind of a small store but they did have a great selection um, the only problem that I did notice is that all of their size 16 and their jeans were gone in the plus size section so they must be a hot hot commodity because they were gone and I don't I just couldn't find anything in a size 16 because I wanted to try on a pair of jeans but they didn't have any because the 14s were not gonna fit me in the straight section so I needed a 16 there but other than that, those are all the items I tried on. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more work attire for Apple Shape Babes, give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys have any requests for any hauls that you want to see, leave them down below as well as any inside the dressing rooms. I always take note of your video suggestions, so please leave them down below. If you are watching all the way to the end of this video, don't forget to hit subscribe. I post videos every single week and I am sticking to that three videos a week. And I'm trying to do more fashion videos for you guys because I know how much you love them. If you guys want to see more behind the scenes to my channel, definitely follow me on Instagram. I always post all of my outfit posts there. And yeah, that is pretty much it. I will have all the items linked down below in the description box so you guys can shop them as well as any information about what I'm wearing in this video. And yeah, so... Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see all of your beautiful faces in my next video. Bye guys! Wherever I go, you're the one I give my devotion. Your love is great.